I've been asked quite a lot which flying mount is better, Griffin or Skyscale? And to be honest, there is no clear answer. Both have their pros and cons, and it all depends on your preferences and situation. My best answer would be to get them both, but if you need to decide which one you should get first, this guide should help you. First, let's take a look at what they are capable of in the air. Both can fly, obviously, but it's not exactly a free flight. Griffin is a glider. Once in the air, you will glide forward and slowly descend, unless you flap its wings with the jump key. You have to press that key for each flap, but even if you precisely flap each time, you won't be able to maintain the altitude, just glide longer. Skyscale can stay in the air forever, However, there is this altitude stamina bar. It counts from the point where you get into the air, depletes when you go up and refill when you go down. When you drop below the starting point, the bar won't overfill, so you won't be able to get back to the original altitude. It also depletes when you move away in any direction and won't refill if you fly back. Once you touch the ground, it will refill almost instantly. Griffin has two levels of momentum speed boost on top of the normal one. How it works is simple. Once you are high enough in the air, use mount ability 1 and perform a short dive, which gives you a level 1 boost. If you flap with wings while diving, it gives you the boost of level 2. Stored momentum from diving can be used with the mount ability too to regain the altitude, but of course for the cost of speed. Skyscale has no such thing, so this makes the Griffin far superior when it comes to long distance flight and speed. However, it has other advantages. As I mentioned before, Skyscale can hover at one spot indefinitely which makes it perfect for being AFK in dangerous areas up in the sky. It will already sound like a cliché, but where the Griffin is like fast plane, Skyscale is a beefy helicopter. You can fly forward, backward, rotate or strive, vertically ascend or descend, you can even grab the wall and charge the altitude stamina with endurance for a bit. The only downside is that you often grab the wall and the stop by accident, but with a bit of practice you will learn how to avoid that. Surprisingly the strength of both lays equally on the ground as it does in the air. When it comes to the basic movement speed, Griffin is on the same level as other ground mounts, but unlike Raptor or Jackal doesn't have any forward moving scale. Skyscale, on the other hand, is a bit slower, but has this amazing spin-forward ability with a quite fast recharge, which makes it more than capable to keep up with others. You can even aim it up or down to some degree. Another area of expertise would be various terrain obstacles. I can safely say, both will overshadow ground mounts because you can simply fly over most of them. Griffin with its flap will reach as high as a basic springer, but without the need to stop and charge the jump. And Skyscale is an absolute master in this discipline. Its hover ability combined with precise vertical movement and the spin gets you anywhere with ease, even over combined obstacles like this tree. When it comes to the mount unlocking cost and time requirement, Skyscale will take much longer and will be more expensive. For the Griffin, you just need the expansion Path of Fire, 250 gold and several hours for events and collections, while Skyscale needs the entire Season 4 of the Living World besides the expansion, which can cost you hundreds of gold coins or real money on top not to mention time gates during the process. I have detailed unlocking guides for both on my channel, 
so check them out before your final decision. Links are down below. So, in conclusion, Skyscale is in my opinion better overall, with the utility it provides. However, Griffin shines with speed in the long distance flights. I would say get them both, but if you have to prioritize, get Skyscale first. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.